Welcome to day 12 of our 22 Days of Prayer initiative. Let's prepare our hearts as we worship together. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Maybe you can relate. While our family of five has been rather stuck together over the last few months, I feel as though there's always someone eating, as in all the time. This seems to involve having to stand in front of the cupboard or fridge just staring. And in an apparent effort to help us out, one of our kitchen cupboard doors recently just fell off. Now you don't even have to do the hard work of opening the cupboard. You can just walk into our kitchen and see all the options without any effort. I bet if you stood there long enough, a snack would probably fall out and hit you on the head. I'd be more embarrassed about this, except nobody's coming over anyway. So when I spy someone standing there staring, I, as a parent, of course, helpfully start listing things. There's ramen, mac and cheese, peanut butter, jelly, make a sandwich, grapes, apples. You guys eat something healthy. Can you guess their response? Eh, I don't really want that. I have to be honest. When I see the phrase in Psalm 23, 1, I shall not want, I feel a little guilty because in my humanity, I question this. Uh, God, for shall not wanting, I sure do seem to want a lot. Pretty sure you've seen my Amazon cart? Not only do I want things, I want my grandma to not be sick. I want my kid to be happy. I want a good, satisfying work life for my husband. I want to be understood by others. But I also want to say this phrase from Psalm 23 with all confidence. In my want, I feel like one of my family members standing in front of a cupboard looking at what God's provided, not being satisfied and responding with, eh. I believe I feel this way and maybe you do too because we forget the causal relationship between the two phrases. I shall not want because the Lord is my shepherd. There's a connection there. And if the God of the universe is my shepherd, I have to look at this at a whole nother level. Not the physical, temporary level of earth, but an eternal, spiritual level. What, on a spiritual level, could I need to satisfy my wants? Words like mercy, peace, justified, being made right with God, and grace all come to mind. All things that satisfy that deep longing of my humanity and my most basic need of all, communion with God. If I have that, It satisfies so that I do not want. I don't need to be right. He's put me in right standing before him. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I don't need to be well known or even well liked here on earth. God knows me and God loves me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I can serve others and give of myself, following his ultimate example of this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So today, when you're standing in front of the cupboard of what God's provided for you as your shepherd, and you find yourself standing there staring, pray that you'll see how the Lord satisfies your true needs. Pray that God will help you take a step back from the earthly and view situations and needs from a spiritual point of view. And pray that God will continue to remind you of this beautiful result of being shepherded by the Lord. I shall not want.